Good morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Bum, bum, bum. Mueller testifies. Bum, bum, bum. So, in one word, I would describe Mueller's testimony as boring. What was that shit? We learned nothing. There is no way in hell I watched that whole testimony. That was the most dry, boring, confusing, fruitless shit I've ever seen. We learned nothing. You didn't have shit in the report. You don't have shit now. So I can't remember. It was either Nadler or Lou or shit. I mean, Schiff <clears throat> that asked him. Well, can you charge the president with obstruction after he's president? Yeah. Can you charge him with any kind of crime after he's president? Yeah. Okay. Who gives a shit? He's president now. I don't care about after. If you wait until after, it must not have been that bad. We're talking high crimes and fucking treason, but you're going to wait. You're going to be part of the wait and see club well that tells me you don't have shit we knew you didn't have shit we knew you didn't have shit when this started we knew this was going to be bullshit when the democrats shoulder tapped this clown remember this is their guy this wasn't someone that trump appointed this is their guy they picked him they were blowing him in the media, talking about how good he is, how impartial he's going to be, how thorough he's going to be. He's going to make the connection between Trump and Russia, Russia, Russia. He didn't connect shit. This fool couldn't connect four. There's nothing there. But these fools are steady rubbing their little tiny dicks, getting them hard over Trump collusion. Finally, we got Mueller. These fools were salivating. We got Mueller to testify, take cover, because he's going to be dropping bombs. Nope, nothing. This senile old bastard, he probably can tell you what day it was. What was that silly shit? Uh, Mr. Mueller, it's time for your testimony. What? Fresh baloney? I don't like baloney! No, 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 no. Mr. Mueller, we need you to, uh, we need you to address the nation. Destination? I'm already here! Excuse me, sonny! You know where I can find some booty? Like, what was this? I f almost felt bad for that little fucker. Let me just give him some butterscotch pudding and put him to bed and leave him alone. Huh? What? Can, can you repeat the question? All these short ass answers. He wasn't going to say anything and you knew it. Because there's nothing to say. Well, could you exonerate the president? No. What the fuck does that even mean? Did he do something wrong or not? Now, if he did something wrong and you can prove it, throw the book at him. I'm behind it. You cheater, you stole the election, you're a piece of shit, let's get him up out of here. Don't get it wrong, don't get it twitted it. Alright, I'm not a blind Trump supporter, no matter what, he's the Messiah. That was Obama, remember? But if he did something wrong, let him have it. Now, of course, there's some nuts who think no matter what Trump does, as long as he's not a Democrat, let him go. And those people are stupid on either side. If he did something wrong, give him the business. You know why? Because if we did something wrong, we would get the business. But over two years of investigation, a bottomless pit of money, as many subpoenas as you wanted to hand out, you can get anybody to come in and talk. And you got, drum roll please, nothing. So now you're going to drag this old senile, confused motherfucker out of whatever retirement home he was in to sit up in front of you clowns and testify for damn near eight hours? 
What a waste of time. You could hit me in the head with a blunt object and I can give you three things you clown should have been talking about instead of harassing this old man about some shit that never happened. There was no collusion. Don't you think as hard as the media, the mainstream mediocres are on Trump, don't you think if there was anything out there, a grain of proof, they would have found it, they would have exposed it, and they would be calling for his impeachment. Instead, there's nothing. You guys keep drumming this shit up, and you're blowing your chances. There'll never be impeachment. Never. Because there's nothing to impeach for. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Democrats. I'm sorry, progressives. I'm sorry, liberals. But you can't impeach the president because he hurt your feelings. I'm sorry he hurt your widow feelings. I'm sorry that your widow butt hurts, but you can't impeach the president because you don't like him. Stop wasting our time with this shit. Mueller investing, investigation, case closed. Let's bury it, seal it, build a fucking brick wall over it and stop talking about this stupid shit. We have failing schools, we have failing roads, we have failing infrastructure, we have Iran acting a fool, we're way too spread out across the world trying to police everything, we're in all these bullshit deals, taxes are through the fucking roof, but you're over here fucking grilling George Burns. Man, get out of here with that shit. That's what I took away from Mueller's testimony. Absolutely fucking nothing. The same thing that was in his report. This fool can even tell you what was in there. Did he even fucking head this investigation? Was he involved? Or do you just wake this fool up on a park bench and say, hey, come on in here and talk to us? Where am I? Who are you? Jesus criminy, man. That shit was dumb. Bury this shit and let's get on to something that Americans actually give a fuck about. We didn't give a fuck about Mueller's investigation before it started. We didn't give a fuck during the investigation. And you can bet your top and bottom dollar that we don't give a fuck now. Move on. So I'm going to keep moving on slowly. That's right. Bumper to bumper. That's how we do it out here in the rat race but you know how it goes i try to be done with the left but they just won't let me please subscribe hit that notification bell utilize the paypal link and the teespring link to get your green gear i am jericho green man i'm out